Somebody wrote something and I, and I want to copy from it to read to the entire country. Why vote in 2023? I understood by books including the prophecies of Pa Elton, Lance Lambert and others that Nigeria will pass through two phases. We are evidently in phase one meaning that phase two is sure. The decade 2020 to 2030 is critical in God's agenda. Whoever wins the 2023 presidential election in Nigeria will midwife the remaining part, 2023 to 2031. If the devil hijacks this election, especially at the federal levels, then we will mourn the next four or eight years. Every pastor should get his PVC on the one hand and prayer on the second hand. Every pastor should ensure, maybe even compel, all his members of voting age to get and use their PVC. Why? Because on earth, God will only do what he must do through men. If Senator climbs, the Minister of Transportation, for example, would have resigned after the train hijack that took place in Kaduna. But after one full month, and the captives being held between Rijana and Kaduna town, our Minister of Transport, had bought form for 100 million to become Nigerian president. In a sound environment, the Minister of Education should have resigned because our universities have been closed down for three months plus. And no end in sight. But our own junior Minister of Education has bought form for 100 million to become president as a sign of promotion for a job well done. In the senior line, the sitting Senate president should be impeached for approving loans and enslaving future generations of resources collected and unaccounted for. But our own Senate president has also bought a form for 100 million to move up. In the senior line, the CBN governor, under whose regime the value of the Naira plummeted from 150 naira to a dollar to over 600 naira to a dollar should have resigned because of incompetence but himself too sponsored people behind and at the back door to buy him a form for 100 million naira to become nigerian president in a senior climb a man who plundered lagos whose wife is a serving senator, whose son is being prepared to become a governor, whose daughter is in charge of all the markets in Lagos, who controls all the internally generated revenue of the entire state. The man who watched our young people during the NSAS massacre, asking, just simply asking for good governance. And then to end the police brutality, that man should have been cooling in EFCC custody. But the same person went to buy a phone for 100 million 
and bribe delegates with over $5,000 each to become a leading candidate in a party. In the Santa climb, a man who was vice president for eight years and head of the privatization and the commercialization of our public utilities cornered all our common patrimony and sold off Nepal from bad to worse. A man whose principal, Obasan just said this, he said a man that I know very well, and he said it will be a sin against God and against man to let him rule over Nigeria. He too has also bought a farm to become Nigerian next president so that CBN would become his vote. And this man bought delegates with over $10,000 each. So easy for Nigerians to forget. So easy for Nigerians to become a senior. Right before their eyes, candidates of competence and character were presented. But delegates sold the future of their descendants for a muzzle of bread. Amazingly, we're living in a nation that 11 year old are now tricking their girlfriends with whom they should be solving mathematics and geography lessons to dark corners for ritual sacrifices. Your kids cannot just go playing with friends now. You're not sure their head will return on their neck. People going for wedding end up being beheaded and the government is helpless. But again and again, we understood by books the pending prophecies by Paul Elton and Lance Lambert that a day and a time is coming that Nigeria shall be known as the most corrupt nation, the most terrible nation to inhabit. But a season and a time is coming when Nigeria shall be known as the most righteous nation. Now is the time. Let us pray that the counsel of God come to pass as he has proposed. But then, let us not sit down, look. Let us step forward by playing this game from the comfort of our bedroom as usual. With our remote controls and watching the news and the announcements of results, let us move to the theater of oppression. Let's go there and take Nigeria from the hands of these wicked men and women. Now, this is my word in addition to this write up by someone. It is oppression. Show your PVC services. Don't let anyone deceive you that our votes will not count. 2023, our votes will count. That is a demar demarketing strategy by people who are desperate to make sure that they hold you hostage. Let's give God something that God is gonna to use to work with. If by omission or commission we let the devil and his children hijack this election, the next eight years will be hellish for every one of us. So everyone, man of God arise and child of God arise and every waiting child arise, the world is waiting for Nigeria. The whole world, Nigeria is waiting for you and me. Nigeria is waiting for every one of us. I dare add this, that Nigeria is waiting for the good people to arise and change the story of Nigeria. We have seen what played out with the dollar rain at the primaries. We cannot allow people buy our future while watching. We must resist religious leaders from the north who are inciting northern Muslims against their northern Christians and calling southern some political leaders as infidels. There are so many Islamic scholars that are coming out and calling us Kahire. We are not Kahiris. And certain group of people cannot decide our future. The intimidation of certain people must come to an end. And that is you and I doing the right thing. I call on the northern Christians that are thinking right and the northern Muslims that are also thinking right, that have the right mind 
to rise against the religiously backward minds so that we can see progress in our nation. I will appeal to INEC to extend the voters registration exercise to allow Nigerians to make the right choice. Please, Nigerians, I am begging you as God's servant, let's show these money bags that we are wiser now and are not ready to mortgage the future of our children. I call on you as Prophet Israel Boob, I'm calling on everyone. I call on right-thinking political leaders who have passion for the new Nigeria to lay aside self and allow for a greater collaboration with one vision to push forward the national team for the national interest for the rebirth of the new Nigeria. The new Nigeria is possible and we will have to make it happen. Join us for the initiative for a better and brighter Nigeria to make the new Nigeria happen. I want to say to everyone watching me all over the world, you're a Nigerian. This time is not about a political party. We are going for individuals. And I want to say this, that we're no more willing and ready to mortgage the future for a muzzle of bread. Nigeria must be safe. And that means that every one of us will have to become an agent. An agent that will mobilize men and women in the sphere of your influence. Let me say this election would never be conducted on the social media platform. We will have to make our homes to become a house that will be used to raise agent for the new Nigeria. And I have laid down my life to lead this country and men and women to say 2023 by the grace of God. This wicked evil politicians will not smell any government house from the state level to the federal level. We have to play our role. It's not about PDP, it's not about APC. It's about candidates. It's about men that have the right mind. They may not have the money, but they have you. You are more than the trillions. You are more than the billions. Remember this. Whatever answer God will answer your prayer, it is by the choice you make of the right individual that will come into power in 2023. But we are not waiting for 2023. We must start the journey now in mobilizing ourselves by ourselves to become instrument in changing our story. God bless Nigeria and God bless Nigerians and God's mercy stay upon Nigeria. God bless you.